He's the starting point guard for the Indiana Pacers and starring in his own radio show. Yes, we're going one-on-one -on -one with George Hill. Uh, we'll take a break. We'll be back. We are at Kilroy's in Broderpool. This is the George Hill Show here on 1260 WNDE. So first of all, well, as a Pacers fan, let's talk about this current season. You guys have one of the best records in the NBA so far. How does that feel? I mean, it feels good. You know, anytime that yeah, you're on a team who's playing well and who's doing everything the right way, you can't do nothing but be happy. And recently, your coach was actually given the honor of coaching the Eastern Conference All-Star team. What does that say about him as a coach and then you as a team? It just shows, you know, all his hard work is finally starting to pay off. And, you know, Frank's done a great job with us. Of, I really think, you know, because of him is where we are today. And, you know, it's not just a great accomplishment for him personally, but for our organization as well. Okay. And we're a little bit more halfway through the season. Can you tell us what to expect from your team for the next couple months heading into the end of the season? I mean, continue to be who we are. You know, I feel like, you know, this year we've been a team who – you know, uh, defended well on, all, on the defensive end and who share the ball on the offensive end. And if we can continue to do that, we'll have a great season. And you're an Indiana boy, and that's what I like most about you, that your alumni is not even a mile down the street. So you went away for a couple years, played with the Spurs, came back. What does it feel like to be so highly ranked in the NBA and representing your hometown team? I mean, it means a lot. Anytime you get to come home and play in front of your family and friends in a city that you lived in your whole life, it just makes everything a lot easier. So. I'm blessed to be in this position, and I can't wait to, you know, get back out there and try to help this team win games. We had a lot of fans on Facebook and Twitter asking questions, and one of the mo most questions that we got was to ask you if you had any advice for any up-and-coming high school or college kids that are wanting to go pro in the NBA. I mean, never listen to people to tell you that you can't do anything. Anything is possible if you put your mind to it and continue to work. So I'm a living witness of that. Pacers in transition. George Hill finding Paul George. George to George for three. Tell me a little bit about what people can expect coming in and watching a live remote broadcast. You know, I think it's a chance to get to know George. You know, George is a guy with a personality, I think, that has some quirks about him that's more than just basketball. And he's a local kid, so he gets the feel of Indianapolis. He knows what people want to hear about and, and talk about and just hear about his story and growing up. So I think it's an opportunity to not only come up, meet George, get an autograph or a picture with him, but also just hear about his life both on and off the court. Tell us a little bit about what people can expect tuning in on the radio. Well, we talk a little bit of everything. Uh, obviously, emphasis on Colts, Pacers, IU, local stuff. But we also talk about the national stuff as well. All right, guys. Well, thanks for letting us hang out with you. And again, tune in. They're really funny. I promise you it's going to be worth it. Thanks, guys.